This is Ingenuity Explained. Make sure to subscribe below for more videos on the world's most revolutionary engineering breakthroughs. The human body is made up of about 60% water. This means that we need to drink a lot of it to be at our best. For most people, drinking 8 glasses or 2 litres of water per day is sufficient to maintain optimal body function. Consider for a moment that in 2017, roughly 2.2 billion people still lacked access to safely managed drinking water. This is clearly an alarming statistic and a massive issue that still needs to be solved. In 2011, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation put out a call to engineers and entrepreneurs worldwide with their Reinvent the Toilet program as a means of tackling the growing water and sanitation crisis in developing countries. The aim of the project was simple, to envision an off-the-grid waste management solution with a total running cost of less than 5 cent per day. Cedron Technologies answered that call shortly thereafter by developing a decentralized water treatment system that is capable of transforming human waste into valuable byproducts such as clean drinking water, electricity, heat and mineral ash. This technology was given the generic name of the Omni processor. Here's how the technology works. Wet biosolids such as human fecal sludge enter a dryer where the moisture is evaporated. This vapor is filtered before then being condensed back into water using a heat exchanger. The water can then be fully treated to be used for drinking water or alternatively recycled for another use. Heat from the condensation process can also be captured and be used for a variety of purposes. The leftover solids from the drying process are then burnt as fuel in a combustion chamber which reduces them to a fine ash. The exhaust fumes from this process are then filtered to a safe standard before being released back into the environment. A boiler uses the heat generated from the combustion chamber to produce a high temperature high pressure steam also known as supercritical water oxidation. The steam is then sent through a steam turbine which drives a generator and produces electricity to power the entire Omni processor, making it a completely self-sustaining device. Excess electricity can also be diverted to the grid or to other local processes. The exhaust steam from the turbine is then sent back to a heat exchanger in the dryer where it powers the initial drying process. After the heat transfer process is complete, the condensed water from the heat exchanger is pumped back to the boiler, which completes what is known as a Rankine cycle in thermodynamics. Some of the challenges that the technology faces include relatively high setup costs for smaller developing world communities, as well as unpleasant odors. The machine itself runs under a semi-vacuum, minimizing foul smells. However, the waste that is being transported and loaded into the machine can result in unpleasant odors to say the least. By 2050, it is predicted that half of the world's population will live in water stress areas. Getting people over the psychological hurdle of drinking water that originated from human feces may prove to be no easy task. For most, this is still a disgusting prospect, even though the water produced is as pure if not more so than most bottled water. The question still stands. If it meant saving countless lives each year, would you drink water that originated from human feces? If you enjoy the video and would like to learn more about some of the world's most forward-thinking innovative solutions, consider subscribing to Ingenuity Explained. Make sure to hit the bell icon to receive notifications when I release my latest video.